Pun intended. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Shaka's fam back with another sexy tutorial video for you guys. And in today's tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to fucking mod Black Ops 1 zombies or maybe even multiplayer, but yeah, basically zombies for the PC version, not to be confused with consoles. I already did that. So, yeah, that's done. Okay, Black Ops 1 for PS3 modding mod menus and stuff like that is done. We're gonna move on. I'm still trying to Black Ops 2, but still, okay, I'm getting off to a uh, fucking point. So, in order to be able to mod Black Ops 1 Zombies, and you know what, before I'm gonna start, actually, I'm gonna explain a couple things here. First of all, there are two methods uh, for modding Black Ops 1 on the PC. If it is, it doesn't really matter if it's for Zombies or whatever, but there are two fucking methods. One is newer, one of the f one is the fucking manual thing that you need to replace some files and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, there are two fucking ways. Another thing is, so we're gonna go to this. Next thing here, why am I doing this? Well, I had some issues with some mods, you know, zombies were spawning without any texture, just square white fucking pixels square fucking shit it looked like minecraft to be honest but yeah i was googling i watched some uh, forums on different websites some mods ugx whatever and even on some fucking weird weird fucking website that i didn't even know that fucking existed um so i thought hey no one is doing a fucking tutorial like this like i needed help and i'm not the only one there are more um people out there that needs help so i was like okay um uh, <laughs> if, if no one's gonna do this I'll do it if it's taken then okay but no all right I'll, I'm gonna do it because no other youtuber does this um, so I'm gonna show you something real quick if you go to YouTube <laughs> I mean <it's> gonna <laughs> and if you, this is what I literally did how to mod black up zombies PC yeah um, Black Ops Zombies mod menu. Mods, download, install, setup, whatever. That's bullshit. I looked at it, you see here, that's not true. And you will see a couple different things here. Mainly mod menus and some fucking past live streams. If you take down that, you will see, hey, my video. Um, but yeah, I'm getting off point. So open up your Chrome, Google Chrome or any other fucking web browser, go to this link, um, yeah, go to this website, um, github.com slash nukem9 linker mod releases. So I will link this, of course, in the video description. And what you need to do is, it will say, for me it says version 1.0.1, but if there's a new version, click on that. But yeah, it will look exactly like this. I don't think it will be updated though. Go ahead and click on this game mod.zip. Click on it. Let's download a couple seconds. Uh, four seconds. Oh, not. Okay, that was fast. And then yeah, it's gonna scan the shit. Don't care. And you will have these. These motherfuckers are in here. So, the following step is to make sure you are safe. You know, it's, it's to make sure that if you fuck something up, you will have a backup. Yes, you need to make a backup. I know, I know. Oh yeah, you know, I can delete things and stuff like that. I'll overwrite other files. You can do that, but at the end of the day, if you don't do it, you will end up like this. Um, let me try to find that. Uh, I need to fucking do this live. Wow. I I've, I I never use scripts and stuff like that, so I'm not reading of anything. Kino Totem, 13 perks. There we go, that's the thing that I need. Pause that shit. Go here. Mod page. Because if you don't do it, you will get this issue right over 
here. I had that too. So, but yeah, I will show you how to fix it later on. It's really easy though. So anyway, download the file. That's this. But before you're gonna install this shit, what you need to do is go ahead and go to the root folder of Black Ops. So for me, it's in D, as in Dick. Steam, <laughs> Steam apps, common a Black Ops. Now, what you need to do is make a folder. I mean, make a backup for main and zone. Now, if there is a mod that needs to replace files in, I don't know what. Redist, don't think so. Players, I have no idea, but still, then make a backup of that as well. But mainly make a huh, mainly main pun intended. <laughs> pun. Uh, but yeah, make a backup of that. Just create another folder called backup, and then drag these or copy these into there. All right, because there are, like I said, there are two methods. So the first method and the easiest and best method is. To do this download the file drag this I already did this but you can do it again it's no it's no problem drag and drop it make sure it's not in a folder just drag and drop it replace files there we go done and what you need to do is right click new folder and call it mods I already did that as you can see right over there mods this is the place where you drag and drop your mods in here now if you have installed mods for I don't know multiplayer then yes your mods from multiplayer will be shown in here as you can see multiplayer underscore zombie annihilation version 2.20 or 2.0 I, I, I don't fucking care um, this was just a test we can delete that alright so uh, now that's done, you made a zombie, I mean mods folder, you download the things that you needed, main, whatever. You will see a different kind of thing here. Where is it? Huh. That one. <laughs> well, I was joking, you know. BO underscore mods. What this allows you to do is, if you double click it, it will open, it will launch the game basically. And make oh hey this is <laughs> sorry for that there we go that's right fuck off um, make sure that Steam is running in the background because I'm pretty sure that you need Steam in the background you know just to make sure that so if you double click this it will launch the game but it will have like in the main menu on the television you have like settings campaign multiplayer zombies. You will also have now the section mods and if you click on mods you can select these things now how do you know if a, a mod needs to be placed inside the folder mods I hope you can follow me right um, for example Reapers perk pack it has mod.csv mod.ff reaper perk dot files reaper perks then you know okay I need to drag, I, I just need to place a folder in the mods folder. Uh, this is for multiplayer, Kino, and I think this is Kino as well. No, oh, no, no, this is custom zombies. <laughs> custom zombie map, yep. Video on that soon. But what if it says main or IW42, right? Well then, because I think I should have a, f a, a thing somewhere... Do, 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 do. Nova 6 for example. Nova 6 doesn't has mod.ff files or patch. It does has a readme. So, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna read it. I, I know what to do here. All you need to do is just drag and drop this into here so it will say main I love you 42 go to main I love you 42 hey it will replace my base file of fucking zombies if you do replace it however you can still run mods but some mods will fuck it up 
because of the replacement that most of the mods, or actually no, some of the mods requires you to do, or actually forces you to do. So yeah, that's the second thing. This is the second method, just dragging these files and do it manually by replacing it. That's why you need a backup. If you fuck it up and you can't run this, that means you can still run it, but you can't like load maps and stuff, or or zombies are like fucked up looking like Minecraft fucking characters, like blocks and no textures at all, no colors, nothing. That means what you need that you need to do that you need to uninstall main zone delete that and then open up steam go to black ops right click uh, properties local files and verify it that will verify that you do have the um, Things so yeah, you can see it's pretty slow because it's reading everything. I'm just gonna cancel. I'm good to go. But that will like read the files that it's corrupted or missing and that you need to install, you know. And it will download it. It's not gonna download the whole fucking game. It's just gonna you know do the thing. So that's that. Um, am I missing here anything? Uh, I don't. I I think I'm done actually because yeah. So yeah, that's how you actually install the mods. If there is a mod that you have troubles with, or there's a mod, and you, or maybe even a, you, oh, for fuck's sake, I fucked it up. Anyway, I'm not gonna cut this out, shit, fuck you. <laughs> um, if you have, if you are developing a mod, sorry, there we go. If you are developing a mod, and you're not sure if you can, like, test it, or you need someone that, to test with, like co-op and stuff go ahead and contact me bro I'm here for you we can work things out no I'm not talking no sexual fucking shit fuck no but <clears throat> if you need help go ahead and contact me by tweeting or commenting down below I don't know or sending an email I don't know but yeah if you comment or tweet I will definitely definitely uh, get back to ya so and if you have troubles with installing a mod or you're not familiar on how to mod stuff or how to install mods, go ahead and comment down below and I will help you and just, you know, yeah, I will help you. I will make a video tutorial for you on how to fucking install the mod that you want. So, yeah.